Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where a big old meteor just hit the farm again so I will have to see exactly what that was all about. I'm gonna check the TV first. Salmon in the Fall Rivers, wonderful, yay! Duplicitation. No. It's all just duplicates and actually I don't even care what the weather's doing. I'll find out when, when I walk out the door. That's how we're gonna do this thing. Um, so pumpkin uh, for Brie. Well, obviously I can try. Uh, I think I might have pumpkins already planted. Some of you guys are saying that I don't have sweet potatoes put down. So I've got a spare sprinkle here, so maybe we could go to Sam's and check that out. What is this? A, 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 a like radar or, or satellite or something just, just came down on my farm. It's full of scrap, wonderful. Um, I don't really want that going on either, thank you. Messing up my farm you are. I'm glad I didn't like fall on any of my vegetables or anything. Yeah, I don't know quite how I managed to only get five basil plants or whatever, but... Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely ready. Uh, it's a Saturday though, so I'll have to be quick, I think. Uh, to grab some sweet potatoes, so... Oh, one thing I wanted to show you guys, don't worry, there is an osmium pepper. Okay, it's fine. You're okay. It'll be there for the Harvest Festival. I think one got sold and everyone just went, <gasps> gasp. <laughs> I was like, it's okay. It's okay. I'll get another one at some point. In fact, I've already got two. I'm pretty sure that it'll be okay. It's fine. We're good. So we've got some cranberries. We've got gold, silver, and bronze ones. Very nice. I don't think I can do those quite yet. I think everything else is just on its way. That's fine. Okay. Let's head to Sam's. And I want to see like what Sam has to say. Like, oh, we have been in Sam since we did his quest and everything, but I want to see his fruit and vegetable stalls properly. Now, they're closed until uh, nine o'clock, I think. Usually, anyway. Calendar, let's see. It is Jim and James' birthday. I'm not actually that fussed, particularly about running around getting presents for those two. No way. Um, maybe if, if it's a single that I'm interested in. I mean, we did miss Raphael, unfortunately, but uh, like I say, I'm going to wait until I'm not so strapped for cash all the time for that, which I think is going to be really soon. I, I think. This month, this, this season is going to be one where I'm going to get a lot more. Uh, but other than that, we're just waiting for the Harvest Festival on the 15th. We've got a week before that happens, so that's absolutely fine. There is an errand, apparently, to grow a beet for Eva. I think I've got beets growing, so I'm fairly certain I can do that. I think they were practically ripe as well. I might even have one in my, in my, drawer, in my chest. I don't know. I don't think I do, but... There definitely are some growing. That's my mission thing. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, grow. So I have six days to do it as well. So pumpkins, sunflowers, night fish. Now sunflowers, uh, I've got to do on the, before the twenty sixth. So if I see Valentina anywhere, I'll grab those. I'll give her those. Sorry. Um, but probably, probably in school right now. No, Saturday. So we won't be in school right now. Probably. Just wonder if I can see her. Uh, well, actually, actually, oh, what are her and Waku? Are they related? It doesn't say what their relations are on the on their like bios, so I have to kind of try and work it out for myself. And someone was saying that like, um, is it Suki and Alice are twins or something? Something Suki and Alice. Would maybe make sense actually. They look kind of similar. Right, where was I? Uh, Valentina. Find NPC. She's at the Coral Inn right now, so I could probably go and find her down there in a second once I've been into Sam's. I'm just going to wait for that one. 
Please tell me my inventory isn't too full to like buy seeds. No, it's not. It's fine. <laughs> it's the sort of thing I do. I'd be like, oh no, inventory is too full for seeds. Because I have a dead to harvest my cranberries. And they take three inventory slots instead of one because they're all different types of different qualities now. All right, so let's have a look. So, um, bag upgrade 12k. No, not yet. Right, so we apparently missed. I did eggplants, but I didn't do sweet potato. So it grows in nine days and produces every four. Now, oh, well, let's get eight of them. I'm certain we got pumpkin and orchid and things. I must have just skipped over them. Um, I certainly don't have enough money, unfortunately, for any of the seedlings. But also, I was thinking that they're not so great to to grow unless you've got... Well, someone was saying that it might be better to grow them in the greenhouse because then at the end of a, of a season, they won't die off, which is actually probably quite a good idea. Do that with your really expensive stuff and your stuff that regrows. So things like trees, things like regrowing, things like hot peppers, that sort of thing. That would go in the greenhouse. <gasps> that fast travel's opened up to town now. Oh no, it's been open for a while. Okay. I thought that was by... No, so there's one by in the town and there's one by the museum as well. So if I wanted to go across from here to there... I could go over to the museum. Wow, yeah, that's cool. Hey, Jack. Kira's better at this than I am. You should find her if you need help with yoga poses. Oh, okay. Help me with yoga poses. No combat this weekend? I've, I'll do some combat. I got a battery. I got three batteries out of that satellite. How interesting. How super interesting. What are we going to do today, then? Um, now I've... Oh, Valentina. That's what we're going to do. We're going to find her. Uh, I think she may have moved, so let's just make sure where she is again. Uh, down there. Okay. To the south of me a little bit, basically. And let's get her the sunflowers. Um, I'm trying really hard just to do the quests that they give me because it's easy. It's kind of easy uh, relationship points with them. And I am trying to get relationship points. Rather than just hide myself in the mines all the time or whatever. But I will spend the rest of the day then hiding in the mines. <laughs> Hello! Have you seen the big tree? The big grey one? Well, I guess it's not grey anymore now. Do you know what happened to it? Was there a big grey tree? I I'm not sure. Um, let me find you a sunflower though, shall I? Uh, sunflower. Hey, uh. People are playing volleyball. No, I don't want to consume this. I want to give it to... There we are. Thank you. You're welcome. The sunflower crown is complete. Rewards are just... Love. Love points. <laughs> Social points. So, night fish, cold weather after sunset. I don't know whether I need to wait till, um, do some fishing at night in the winter, maybe? Because it's saying colder weather. Maybe autumn would work as well, I don't know. But I think the arapaima is one that I need for the goddess as well. So, if I could find that, that would be amazing. Um, green tea to Paul. Oh, no, someone was saying with the green tea to Paul. So, we might be able to do this one as well. That the coffee stand sells the green tea so I can get it ahead of time. So thank you for that tip. Who are you in that suit? Raphael is in a cute like jacket for autumn. Spending sorry, planning to spend the week weekend nights watching full films with um ghosts. Even better if they're ghosts from folk tales. What are you uh, gonna do? Oh, right, I see. He like He's into halloween -y stuff, I guess. Maybe. Hey, peanut and butter. Is it peanut and butter? He is. Peanut and butter. Lovely. Hey, Noah, your farm's just over the creek, right? It is indeed. 
Um, just chatting to people as I go by. Oof, no more humidity. I have to use curlers on my hair now. Good thing I have short hair. Finally, I don't have to crop that tree out of my photos anymore. What? What's going on about this tree that's gone missing? Oh, is it maybe like because the root retreated? And they may be talking about the root in the seed, the big grey, the big grey tree, possibly. Okay, so I'm going to put these things. Um, and in fact, I am going to do what you got. You guys keep telling me to do. I'm going to make some golden cranberry jam. And I'm going to put the rest away, and then we'll just slowly work through different. So I'm going to sort of get together. Well, what would be ideal, right? Is if I got together all of the produce for one season, and then I processed it in the next season when I knew when I know I've got the most of it, sort of thing. Uh, this is the wrong chest for those to go in. That is not the produce chest. No, no, no. So it was... Ooh, hang on. Uh, I need to see that letter. Because I'm missing one thing for the Harvest Festival. So, oh yes, it's milk. Okay, of course it is. Uh, how are we doing for the barn today? I haven't even checked. Is it still on the make? No, it's done. Woohoo. So now what I need to do is go and check how much a cow costs. Because I don't know. How much does a cow cost? Probably more than I have. But we'll sell a load of stuff today and get it tomorrow. Oh, it's closed on a Saturday. Yes, I think I realised this last time and forgot again by this time. And people are saying that I... Oh, because my hose in... See? See, this is what happens when you leave your tools at home. This is why I'm always so funny about having all of my tools on me. Because the minute I leave one, I need the blooming thing. <laughs> See, you guys are all like, ah, you, you could have so much more room if you left your tools. But, but no, I can't. Because uh, it just always seems to be that I need it the second I leave it somewhere else. Right, so I want to just rearrange this a little bit. Last time I listened to you. <laughs> but it was also a, um, a, a suggestion from the comments that uh, I do carry the hoe around and get the clovers because sometimes now I've got the brush, I'm going to sometimes find that I've got... Um, Really, what is it with me in this donations chest and thinking it's the produce chest? An absolute nightmare. So we've got 30 seeds that we can now grow. So probably three sections at least that we can grow throughout the winter time. Uh, I have been told another suggestion from the comments to leave that till winter. So that is what I shall do. But we're going to need to sell some stuff. We're going to need to do some serious, serious selling of stuff to make sure I've got enough money for cow tomorrow. And then we can get barn produce going. So what sort of things could I... Could I sell? I mean, maybe. Well, firstly, let's... Let's, um, hoe... I uh, see, I need my hoe again. Let's hoe this out properly. Plant the sweet potato seeds. I know I need to get better with the fertilizer. I am bad with fertilizer. I know this. These look very similar to some of the other seeds that I've had. Maybe I didn't forget about them, but regardless, whatever whatever I did or didn't do, now I need my water. Are you kidding me? Now I need my water and can. I hate my life. Okay, here we are. We just give these a little water in the bits that didn't get water before and then I should then be able to leave that just to grow of its own accord. Um, I can sell the sunflowers though. I can sell flowers, right? Or am I supposed to be putting those into the beehives? Probably. In fact, no, they're my sunflowers that I was keeping, aren't they? Oh no. Why do I have to keep everything? This is why I have no money. <laughs> Right then. Uh, maple leaf cut and moth. I need to know quickly whether that is something that I have or haven't donated. So it's something I haven't donated. So it's going in the donations pile. 
The hot peppers are coming out of the donation pile because these are the ones that are donated so far. They're being kept for the uh, the six different things that I need for the festival. If I get a flower that is above silver, I will be changing it over. If I get a pickle or something that's above silver, I will change it over. If I get a better egg, I will change it over. If I get a better fruit, I will change it over. Obviously, the hot pepper's already at the top as an osmium one, so... I will try my best. I'm pretty sure I'm doing better than I did last time round. It's getting late now, isn't it? Sorry, yeah. Uh, sorry, Cloud. There. I love you very much now. I hope you had fun. Oh, a large egg again today. Thank you very much. I hope you had fun outside yesterday in your new awesome pasture. <sighs> okay, I can't call outside after a certain time of day. And I... <laughs> I really need to get on top of that. I am sorry. I am sorry, Cloud. So I have seaweed chips. Let's see what these are like then. Um, can I not see them properly? So a dehydrated snack made from seafood. Plus five, plus ten. Uh, plus five stamina, plus ten. Health. So they're nowhere near as good as like my um, cranberries and all that sort of thing, but they stack nicely and they come from seaweed, which is very plentiful. So that's kind of cool. So let's go and see the goddess quickly. And uh, that will be one of the, one of the things for my artisan altar. Seaweed chips, it actually was seaweed chips that were showing there as well. I'm going to try some other undersea things, uh, but I thought seaweed would be a good start. Um, butter, as soon as I have my cow, apparently that can be put through the mayonnaise maker. The milk can be put through the mayonnaise milker. The mayonnaise milker? The mayonnaise maker. And we'll make butter. So then we just need to work out how to juice the fruit. Which may be a case of shipping enough fruit. It may be a case of leveling up farming. Not really sure yet. But we're slowly building things up over there, which is quite nice. So I'm going to go for a little dive now, I think. Um, so I'm just going to put my produce away. I don't know if you get a large mayonnaise from a large egg. Should we test that? I think we probably should, right? I know you get a star. Yeah, a large mayonnaise. Nice. You get a, a star equivalent to the fruit you put in. So it's always worth um, processing. And that's definitely something that people in the comments have, have echoed. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, produce for the compost and all of the various bits here. And I'm going to put the seaweed chips... Well, I'll take them with me, actually. Why not? Might get a bit of stamina out of them for helping me with my diving. So, diving. And then we've got the, the final big push to do on the um, silver mines. So I probably will be down to the gold level at some point in the autumn season. Shouldn't be too long. Get that done. Similar with getting to the gold part of the diving. I don't think that's going to be that far away. I think I'm a little bit over the top maybe with some of the clearing sometimes. Try not to be. But I think we're going to go for some progress today. A gooseneck barnacle. That's new. So let me just have a quick look what I'm kind of aiming for. So we're trying to get around here. There's a... Hello. There is a shrine over here that I want to try and release. The solar orb does not want to come to me today, apparently. So let's grab all of the seaweed and stuff. 
The one thing that's nice about the dehydrator is you can do a few things at once in it. What I might do as well on the farm, I am kind of thinking, is that we need more than one mason jar. I think one is not enough for the amount of different star levels of fruit and vegetables and the different types that we have. And the fact you can only have two or three at once in there, I definitely think that uh, doubling, tripling those up, whatever, would be worthwhile. Maybe have four in a row somewhere. Maybe sort of clean out the area just to the, well, I guess the south, uh, to, to, the, to the lower part of the, the barn and the coop. Underneath there, we could make that into a little bit of a, an area for that sort of thing. And eventually, once we were able to make a shed, I think that might be quite cool to just put all of my artisan stuff into. Ah, there we are. I get the impression with this game, and just from some of the things that people have been mentioning, is that I'm going to struggle, struggle, struggle for money, and then have nothing to spend it on. <laughs> it's going to be like, I need this thing, I need that thing, I need that. Oh, I've got it all now, so what do I do with the money? So I'm not going to be like too worried if I don't have everything. Especially not in the first year. And then the second year, we could, I'm hoping by then we can look for a bit of um, a bit more gifting. We can look towards sort of marriage and families and whatever other things are allowed in here from that sort of perspective. And then we'll have to look for some other stuff to play after that, won't we? Gosh! This thing's getting stuck on everything, isn't it? Wow. Is that it then? Oh, come on. It's like round the world in 80 days now, isn't it? <laughs> Those things are going all over the place. Getting late, we will leave soon. <laughs> oh, this is utterly ridiculous. I think that might be the end of it. Let's go get this silver cow. More sprinklers never hurt. Apparently there will be a sprinkler too at some point, and at that point I'm gonna have to decide whether I want to like take all the sprinkler ones and sell them or something, or or what I want to do with that. But yeah, I, I, that one <laughs> that one never found its place, did it? But we'll we'll maybe do that tomorrow. I'll maybe do a bigger dive tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. I'm quite happy with what I got done there because I got a, a quest or two done. We never actually went to get the green tea for Paul though. But I'm I'm testing a lot of things out and getting a lot of things done. What I would like to do is make another mate. Oh no, we'll do that in the morning. In the morning we'll make another mason jar, and oh I need to sell everything, don't I? Everything in the world. Quick, quick, quick. Pause. We need. All those seaweed chips as well. Eastern oyster. I'm. Oh, I need to check things and see if they're donatable and things. I've offered that, and that has not got an offering or a donation on it. Cool, cool, cool. Off you go. Off you go. And then we'll go to bed. And I'll sort my inventory in the morning as well as making more mason jars. Cool. Let's see how we did. Valentina's relationship with me went up, so we are getting there a lot. I've got so many people at one heart now. It's really quite cool uh, how we're doing with that, to be honest. Uh, the farming, the cranberry jam goes for 55, which is nice considering we get quite a lot of cranberries. The seaweed chips go for eight each, which isn't too bad. No, they go for four each. That's not awful. It's not great either. The mayonnaise, large mayonnaise goes for 150. So if we get more chickens, that would really increase the amount of income we've got. And then the undersea stuff is is doing well. I needed more money quickly, okay? And I know a lot of that diving stuff would have done better probably going into the dehydrator. But I needed the money now for a cow. Something watered your farm last night. 
Oh, that's great. It was probably the sprinklers. I think it was a magical being. Came and watered my farm, but then I didn't even know because... Sprinklers did it all. I guess this is what happens when you leave everything to your sprinklers all the time, yeah. Uh, is there anything else today? There is hot peppers today, right? Let's grab them. You never know, I might have an osmium one today. I got another osmium one. <laughs> Shall I sell it? Sorry, I'm being mean now. I think if I just get these silver ones into the pickled beets. And then I'm going to try and make a few more mason jars just so I can get a few of these going at once. So let's see. Mason jar, mason jar, mason jar, mason jar. Wood and glass. Two, three, four. Okay, I'm out of glass. That's fine. We've got three for now and I'll add a fourth later, I guess. I kind of feel right now that I'm not, I've not got much room anymore and I'm going to have to move things about a little bit. So let's, uh, I'll just make a bit of room over here and we'll put the mason jar there and this is all probably going to have to move, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I actually have three osmium peppers. <laughs> That makes me laugh. That makes me laugh so much. Let's just save them up, shall we? Alright, produce. So we've got the... All of this. So there's uh, like a lot of cranberries that I could put in to the mason jars. I've got beets. I've got hot peppers. The osmium hot peppers there as well. Let's do a little sort on the chest. Yeah. The, have I? Am I using all the mason jars? So yeah, they're all going at the moment. Um, so if I just keep at it, then I should get through everything. And the artisan goods should really start to help. Uh, that would probably mean now. Do I go and do Paul's green tea thing? I think I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to do, pull, oh, there's one beat and a beat for Eva as well. So Eva and Paul. And I am loving this whole thing where I can just go and find them. So let's go into relationships. Let's find Paul. Let's give Paul the hot pepper. Paul is over by there. So I could do a little, actually. Ugh. Came all the way out here. And actually, the best the best thing to do when I'm finding people, I've got to get into this like mentality of it, is that I have fast travel points and that it'll be easier to find people if I use them. Yeah. Okay. So B, relationship, Paul, Find NPC. I am here. Paul is there. That's super easy. This is going to make it so, so much better. Oh, what am I doing? Eva's the one I have the actual thing for. I don't have the thing for Paul yet. Ugh. My brain, I swear. Right, so Eva is on the beach. So we could just go down to the diving spot and get her from there. And then on the way up, we can hit the coffee shop. That's a good idea. So I'll just, the problem with uh, going to the coffee shop first is that Eva might move. So I want to just try and find her first. You might already have moved. Oh, come on. This is why I like just going and doing mindless things like 
cleaning trash. Oh, she's all the way over there. Okay. So bad. Hello, Eva. Right, I like to take inspiration from the beach sometimes. The shells, the sea, so much material. Here's your beat. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, so that one's done. That one was off the board, so I should probably get merit points for that, actually. I don't know if it's... Uh... I don't know what it is about the symbols here, but I don't find... For some reason, my brain doesn't transfer them into, like, this is my inventory because it's a bag. This is the quests because it's a... A sign. This is the town map because it's a town hall. This is a map. Map and quests quite often I get confused. Like, relationship's okay because that's a heart. So that kind of makes sense. I don't know. <coughs> I've got a new point in something. In farming. Chance for water soil to save water the following day. I have everything is sprinklers, so double crops all the way. <laughs> Absolutely double crops. Hey Macy, don't you just love that sea salt scent? Ha, that's fun to say, sea salt scent. So I like that the NPCs are reacting to the changing town. Like as I'm finding things, they're sort of telling me. More mixed seeds, that's good. It's good for winter though, isn't it? To have mixed seeds. Right, to the coffee shop now. Let's uh, chat. Raj, like, lies down, having a... Open every day, weather permitting, that is. Well, you're, you're not there right now. But, like, he lies down, like, reading poetry or something, you know? Very romantic. And then everyone else is over there still doing their yoga, I think. Dipper's doing some painting. Nice to see me in such good spirits. I need to find the coffee shop though, and for some reason I'm not finding it today. Up here? Why do I suck at finding things so badly? Well, it's just coffee corner, so I basically ran past it. Lovely, well done me. I'm in a completely wrong direction. It's just over here. Right here, there we are. Raj's coffee corner. So, it looks like his helpers are here manning the stall. Green tea. Oh, so it's actually the tea, not the tea leaves as well. So we'll get that and we'll give that to Paul. Paul has probably moved by now, so let's go find where he is and then I can get on with the rest of my day. This is why I don't do treasure hunts for a... Uh, uh, he's down at the beach. Okay. Well, I'm not that far away from the beach. That's fine. You just need to head south. But apparently I can't do that from here. I have to go round this way and down. I remember that at least. I hate it when I try to go south and there's like... Oh, there's a big wall in the way. Nice job. Right then. So green tea. Here you go. Are you... Utterly kidding me. They have to wait for him to finish his volleyball match. Hurry up. I want to go diving. Like, I can't then give you this if I'm going diving, can I? No. I'm, I'm so glad you're having such a fun time. <laughs> It's lo it is lovely though. They're playing volleyball and Zoe is joining in and and Oliver is joining in. It's wonderful. Is Oliver their child as well? I I know I no idea whose child. I know Zoe is their child, but I don't know like whose child Oliver is. Everyone else like I've got placed. Valentina belongs to like Suki and Zoe belongs to Paul and Anne. And Archie belongs to um, Dinda and Jojo. Joja? No, Yoka. I'm pretty sure it's Yoka. I struggle with his name, to be honest. Come on, let me talk to you. Okay. 
I think that it, if they're going to take much longer than that, I'm going to have to wait for another day for that to happen. I'm not going to spend the whole rest of the day when I could be diving trying to give him this darn green tea. So I'll catch him maybe tomorrow morning. I've got the green tea on me. Uh, also, my inventory is chock full of stuff that I've been finding all over the place. So let's go and empty it out before we go down to the diving. Then so oh yeah dehydrator and let's see if I can put a couple of these sh if some of these shells might go in there or anything like that uh, just seaweed how much does seaweed sell for on its own because it sells for four if you dehydrate it right I don't know how much it sells for on, on its own so I'll put one in to, to try those shells can go in uh, the rest can all go away so you and you and you people keep saying things like you got silver bars in your monster loot chest oh actually i still do so that's one that's sorted out uh and then i think at some point i had something else wrong but i think that's been moved offers in the donations we could do a big donation drive uh, tomorrow, probably, because it's Sunday right now, which is not a good day for donation drives. So I could go and open all the coffers up and take all of the stuff to the museum. I'll probably take the coffers and then come back and then go to the museum and donate everything and then, and then donate all the stuff that's not come out of a coffer because I think my inventory is going to get very full on that. Why am I still going to the diving location and not going directly to the undersea thing? I suppose it does put me directly in the place where I last left off, which is quite nice. That might, it actually might be quicker thinking about it. So let's finish off what we were doing. You look like someone I haven't caught before. An eight armed sea star despite the name it could also have five or nine arms <laughs> so that one i've no doubt will go into the museum fabulous who are you you don't understand what's being said there's loads of stuff that i don't understand i clearly need diving suit 3.0 so that i can understand what all the fishes and turtles say. But what happened to the... Oh, this all looks like it's maybe... Maybe it happened just as I was... It all looks like it's sort of cleaned itself now, so maybe that happened just as I was coming out last time. That's a shame we missed it, but never mind. We've seen it before. So I need to, to head up to the next one up here. Get that done. That's a very different looking thing as well. If I could sneak in and grab it. I can't see its I can't see its circle. Oh, I was lucky there because I really couldn't see its circle. These are the eastern oysters. They just seem to live around here basically. It seems to be their their place. Oh okay so I've got like a swing attack here that's Very good, actually, if I'm just in the right in the middle of a massive load of trash. If I wait for two. For two ticks. One, two. Does a lot better as well. 
Thank you for that tip as well. That's another comment tip. Wasn't aware that it... Well, I kind of was aware that there were power-ups. And I think there's some times where that's going to be really good to do and other times where it's not as good. Like here, I think it might be really cool. Where there's just a little bit or it's just in front of me not behind me that's where it's not so good well we're not doing too great on finding this orb are we Look at, look at the map actually and it would help if I hit M instead of B so I've got like a few to do around here and then I would have got up there and do those ones so we are still a bit behind on the sea stuff but we're getting there another starfish Yeah, so on top of getting the cow in the morning, which I really hope we can do, or I hope we have enough money for, I've put quite a lot of stuff away into the... I don't know if I've filled my... I'm sure i filled my mason jars, right? Do you know what I didn't do today? I didn't look at the chicken today, at clouds. I'm hoping that when I have more animals, that will mean I'm more aware of them. I don't know, probably not. It'll just be a case of me getting into a habit. But so far my habit has been get up and water the crops and it needs to change to get up and water the animals. <laughs> well, I couldn't have possibly taken more time to find this stupid thing. It's, oh, there, finally! Goodness me. Well, I suppose it meant I got most of the place clean, at least. And I doubt there'll be much trash for it to get stuck on, at least, as well. No, no getting late and leaving soon, thank you. I'm just going to follow it, because it will be the magical mystery tour all over again. And it'll, it'll find something to get stuck on, won't it? Yeah, of course it will. It couldn't just not get stuck on stuff. My hook didn't want to work then. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> it's going to go over here, isn't it? No, okay. It, it's, uh, again, again, it's just... It propped it just at 11 o'clock. Again. Oh, my life. But at least it's done. At least it's another one done. Another one bites the dust. In terms of my undersea cleaning stuff. Right, so... I want to sell what I can sell. Is there anything in any mason jars? Scout dehydrators? Is that how you take them out, I guess? So all the karacha sauces and the pickles, <clears throat> they've all been donated already, so I can definitely sell those already. Um, I'm going to keep all of my like various sea stars and things. So the sauces can go, the pickled beets can go, the dried... Where did my dried stuff go? Oh, did I take out my seaweeds before they dried? I have, haven't I? Well, that was annoying. Um, I'm going to sell sea stuff today. Because if it means I get my cows a day earlier, then that 
is super helpful. And then from then on, we'll start properly drying things up and all that sort of thing. Uh, I'll sell one of those. How do I sell one? There we are. Keep the other one. Hoping that it's, I don't think it's an offering. So if it's not an offering, then it's just a donation. Donation and a donation. And then we've got a fossil node as well. So I'll need to take my fossil nodes to be processed as well. I've got so much stuff in that donations chest. Some of it needs to be redonated and some of it doesn't. So I, I, I can see it though, at least. I can see what does and doesn't. So those two do. Those coffers all do. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun when I do the donations, all right? The building mats, I'll put away that, 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 that. Then I need to head to bed, I think. Is there anything on the television? All these games, they train you to watch the telly every day because there might be something cool, there might be something new, there might be something good. Ooh, fertilizer too, very nice. Scrap chest and a scrap arch from diving level five. Hmm. In relationship points with Eva. Yeah. Doing the quest is quite useful. Right then, and it is a new day, and we have cranberries to harvest. I have a little chicken to feed and let out as well, so I'm just going to take the hay for now. Hopefully she'll forgive me. I'm going to get you a buddy today. It's going to be a, 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 a cow buddy, but it's still going to be a cool buddy. So we've got three stars, three hearts, and in a good mood. This is starting to this is starting to get somewhere now, isn't it, really? I feel like we had a slow start, but I feel like the autumn is where it's starting to ramp up for me. Okay, so let's go get a friend for my chicken. It'll be like cow and chicken. Cool, I can put some of the cranberries in the mason jars now. I'll just try and keep them as full as I can. Um, I'm going to make some mayonnaise out of some of the eggs as well. I'm going to just like, grab a few out of produce. There's, nine nor there's ten normal eggs, so I'm just going to keep them on me for now and put them in the compost bin. Yep, that's what we're going to do. No, it's not. So I might want to make another mayonnaise machine at one point as well. But yeah, I need to keep keep my chicken a bit happier, don't I? I'll sell the pickled beets. So far I haven't had any better eggs. Um, and let me just look through the produce. Oh, do you know what I could do? I could make an osmium caracha and take that in as my artisan product. That would probably be the thing to do before the... So then I'd have two osmium things. Fossil! Thank you, that finally paid off. So, Jack, hi. The extra room in the ranch is for rent if you know someone who's looking. Uh... I can buy hay if I run out of food in the winter, so that's a good thing. I'll probably need a milk pail, but how about we just get the other stuff first? The temperature machine, I don't know what that does still. Might want to be looking that up though. Right, a cow. Oh no, I still don't have enough. Oh. 
Two and a half thousand for the cow. We could get a duck. But I need that barn produce soon. So I need another 800. Okay, and it's a Monday, so I think they're open tomorrow. It's fine. Let's just try and make as much stuff as I can. Oh, that's annoying. I hate it when I have a plan and the plan fails because I don't have enough money. It's always the case in this game. I've never got enough money right now. It is rectifying itself as I'm getting more things on the farm. The, the money is coming in. It's starting to help. But it's not fast enough. All right, let's go and see Paul, shall we? I can at least get some of these quests done for friendship. I, I don't feel like I'm doing bad for friendship considering like I haven't given anybody any presents at all. No, not finding you, and I. I don't know where you are. Okay, up there. Do you know that's a terrible place? There's just no fast travel near there. Well, I suppose, could I get up from the temple? Maybe, I'll try. I don't want to be running around all day trying to find people. It drives me mad when I'm like, try and go to where they are and they've moved and then <laughs> I don't know where they've gone and then I find I don't have the thing that they need. <laughs> right. Probably shouldn't be doing this right in front of Anne, but never mind. Let's just give you the quest item. Thank you. I'm glad you're not playing volleyball today. Sheila, you just saved my life. Thank you so much. I will always remember this favor. If you need anything, please let me know. So that'll be a, a heart with Paul today, no doubt. Wonderful. So from there, I'm going back to the farm. I'm just going to make sure that my inventory is nice and, nice and cleaned up. Then should we see if we can finish the mine? I reckon I could do it today. Do you? I reckon I could. Donations. Does mean that I'll have to do the donations tomorrow. Do you mind if I do that? You don't mind, do you? Just need to pop that glass away. Cranberries into the mason jars. No, can't do it yet. Okay. All right, so food chest. I'm going to take all the food out, or some of it at least. I'm going to take the corn on the cob. Uh, no, I'm not, because that's got like a special thing going on. Let's just take the pickled corn. And the karacha sauce and the candy tree seeds because those things oh, no i shouldn't put it in the wrong chest just because i'm in a hurry should i we should just be good about these things right the other thing i need to remember is to keep a few of each produce just in case someone needs them i'm not the greatest at doing that so let's see can we make it down our 10 levels today let's get going And I'm going to be very um, focused on progress here because I've got a lot to do in one go. But I think we can do it. Right. It's getting cold down here. Must be getting towards the centre of the earth where it's totally cold in this world. Doesn't get warm and no, no, no. Right, let's do this thing. I miss it's so annoying I'm like so focused gonna get this done missed it's actually harder to see the white lines in the snow as well that does not help
I'm not doing enemies if I can help it as well. We're a bit short on time. I started late in the day. This guy is asking for a bashing though. Okay, 33 out of 40. It's kind of easier in here once you know what you're doing, but uh, having the extra food is... And having the silver pick, I did need the silver pick before I... Before I got down here. gonna drop meat i do need what that guy has oh yes nice 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 that was really good because that is one of the things i need for the goddess the monster loot on 34 almost halfway and we've gone halfway to what we need to do and we've got a freebie on 35 beautiful so four more to do you are cruising for a bruising come here I hate their little stingers, they're really annoying. This is going to be our... There's always one level that's really awkward. I think this might be our level that's really awkward. Why aren't you... Why won't you die? I mean, well, that's a reference too. I think I've still got some bits to do over here as well. Oh, don't tell me there's one rock over there. Um, if it's if it's under there, I'll cry. No, it wasn't, thankfully. Mine at half the level, then realise it's under the bit that you actually didn't... <laughs> the rock that you missed. That would actually make me cry. There we are, way down. We are on 36. Seven now? Yes. Start watching my stamina a bit more now as well. Oh, you start getting spicy. Dropped a bone. I've never had a bone before. Trying to do a thing here. 40 stamina now. Luck is not really with me right now either. Oh, 
I think it's time to eat. Just go for two candy tree sides at a time, I think. Give me enough to just keep going for a little longer. To find the way down here, we've got two more to do. We're at seven o'clock at night, so we've got time. I don't even actually really care that much if we... Well, actually, I don't really want to pass out, honestly. Oh, yes. I love it when we get a bit of luck. Okay, last level. And we are going to free the water giant. I think I might need to free the water giant to get the silver enchantments, actually. I know I was saying that I was going to go to the giant's place and get a second uh, enchantment, but maybe you have to release the water giant first. That wouldn't actually surprise me at all. Because at the moment, uh, I can get a second enchantment on my pick and my scythe if I need to. Axe still isn't upgraded at all. But I can work on that. That's nothing that I can't just get sorted very quickly. Take a few days. Honestly, I think I might be better off trying to go for gold on all of the things that I use commonly before I start worrying about, like, my... Oh, yeah, 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 done it. Oh, I missed out on a geode there. But I did say I was going to be very focused. And I was. So that's what happened. What's going on here, then? This looks a bit different to what happened last time. In the chest, there is six Jammu. Nice. I didn't even have to use any Jammu to get down here. So I can use that for the gold and osmium levels. I'm guessing there's going to be like fire caves eventually somewhere. Inspect. Did it again, who man? I did. I did it. The cursed tablet you have broken. Free water giant is now. She see we shall above. Let's go see the water giants. I hope he's as cute as Grog. I need to know. It's a little tiny cute one! Free at last is Gong! <gasps> I love you, Gong! That's so tiny and cute! Chieftain, Gong can move, look! Ah, oh, Gong can dance too! Chieftain Trouble! Gong came with all here, then bright light, then gong, and all stuck. Chieftain, where are others? Grog is back in the village. Gru is... There. I'm guessing. Free Gru. Human will? Of course I will. Human, I thank. Not just Gru, Chieftain, there. Tell you later I will, Gong. Now rest, you should. To the village now. We go, Gong. Thank you again, Human. Goom goom. Thank you, Human. Goom goom. <laughs> Off they go. I love them. He's not a very big giant, is he? He's a tiny giant. I thought these guys were meant to be giants. They're not very giant. Eh, uh, Chieftain, can we talk to Human now? That Human only, Gong. More I will tell you at village. Come. See, I'm a magical. Right, we freed the wind giant, so now we have to free the 
Wind giant. Should we do it right now? I'm expecting that we'll be able to get some gold in here. I'm just going to have a little look. It's not only nine o'clock, so... Hey, let's get some gold. That takes three hits. Wow. Yeah, eat some pickled corn and then I'll let me like dig up a bit more gold. Because I can almost guarantee you I'm going to need plenty of gold. I'll probably need like 25, 30 gold to upgrade the pick and I'm going to need to to get anywhere with this. But if I really focus down on it, I reckon we could have it done quite quickly. Right then, let's go home. And let's end the episode. That was awesome. We have released another giant from captivity. We have finished the water shaft. Um, so I don't know whether I'm going to just like totally focus on trying to get a gold pick and then work on a bit of diving while the gold pick gets ready. We could do that. And that would be the way to upgrade to a gold hook would be to have a gold pick. Yeah, I think, I think we'll try and work on that. Um, right, let's see what I can put in here, if anything. A stinger can go. Um, maybe I could sell my pickled corn. Why don't we see if I've got enough to make a few more, like, chests and things. I need to get money for this cow, and I don't have it. Holds up to 40 objects. So scrap and stone ones are the same. So that would be... 10 of them would be 500. Why don't I do 15 then? And that would be like 700. Why don't I do 20? Yeah, why don't I do 20? Oh, I don't have enough stone to do 20. Hmm, okay. 15 I'll have to do. Could I do a couple of scarecrows? Yeah, I could, right? Let's do two scarecrows as well. So those are 50 and those are 90. That should be enough for a cow in the morning. <laughs> Just trying to use up all the stuff I've got as much as I can. So yes, next episode. This episode we got... Um, uh, not Grog... I got Grog's little friend, whose name I've already forgotten, released. I I need to I need to like find your name. Sorry, is is it Gru? What was it Gru? That's Grog and Gru, right? I found Mola. Why don't the giants show up there? Why don't they show up? Where are they? Hmm. Giants! Here we are. Chieftain, Gong, Grog. Oh, it's Gong we found. And Gong is tiny and cute. Eh. And Chieftain and Grog. So uh, we've got to find... Is it is it Gru next? I think it's Gru. And then... Whoever this little mischievous chav is, probably the fire giant. So let's go to bed and see how much money we ended up with. So we've got mining level 6 now. Perfect. Uh, now we can make explosive 2s. I've got 2,900, so we will definitely be able to get a cow tomorrow. Wonderful. And then we can start saving up to try... We can start trying to be nice to the cow and see what kind of milk we can get. But even just getting some milk of some description 
would be ideal. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.